Today we're going to learn how to take an order properly. And for this example, we'll be using the uh, restaurant, the Park Room in London, as an example from their menu. We're pretending that we're working at the Park Room in London, and we have a table of four that is sitting on a round table. And we can just, on pen and paper, draw out the numbers. The first person orders the appetizer, chicken and noodle broth. So I would normally just type chick. And the second person orders cream of lobster bisque. So lob, short for lobster. And then third person would order asparagus salad. I would write asp for short. And the fourth person is a, a vegan. So they order the heirloom tomato salad. And Tom is short for tomato. Now, they will order drinks also. And the first person, which is a man, so I'm going to mark him as an X, like that. The second person is a woman, so I'm going to draw a circle around the number two. And the third person's a man, and fourth person is a woman, so drawing a circle around the number four. The man on the first seat orders the, the chicken and a glass of Chardonnay. Chardonnay like that. For the second person, they order the lobster and a glass of champagne. Champ, short for champagne. Third one has the asparagus and orders some some Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. And the fourth person just has sparkling water. Spark water. <laughs> there we go. Now for the main course, a burger. The first person has a burger. And I would ask them, uh, how would you like it cooked? Meaning, do you want it rare, medium or well done? And they, they say medium well. Okay. MW is short for medium well. They would also like to have a beer with that. A beer. And an, uh, let's say an IPA. And the lobster person, <laughs> she orders the... Uh, Goujons? What the fuck is a goujon? It's something with salmon. Okay, so the, the goujon with salmon. The goujons and a glass of shabli. Shab. Short. And third person orders the club sandwich club for short and they would also like to have a beer and they would uh, just have a draft beer so i'm not going to write that down fourth person wants a sirloin steak and i would ask again rare medium or well done and they said medium rare. Okay. The chef will not be angry at me for that one. And they ordered a glass of uh, the Chateau Neuf de Pape. It's a red wine. So let's back that up a bit. Okay. So this is the structure that is the easiest way for me to remember what everybody had. So when their orders do come through and I need to take the orders to the table and let's say I have a colleague 
that will help me to deliver the, the drinks to the table. My colleague, because of my drawing, will now know where to go and where to place the drinks orders or where to place their food because they can clearly see from the drawing that, okay, the, the first person is a guy and he's sitting in the, in the sofa over here and these guys, these number three and four are sitting on chairs. So that makes it a whole lot easier for them to understand where the food is going and where all the drinks are going. Later on, when it's time to pay the bill, and let's say I have 15 of these tables, it's easy for me to just look at my notes and know that these two people on the sofa, which I'm encircling, they will share, they will have their bill on, on one ticket and the other couple would like to pay separately for their items. So that makes it a whole lot easier. Now, when I go to the kitchen, I'm not going to use this paper. I'm going to insert the items into the till, which then gives the chefs a, a ticket for the food. I hope that this structure of how I take the orders is helpful to you. And this can be done with a pen, just a pen and paper. And when you finished taking the orders like this, you can just put it in the till and the chefs will have a ticket coming out for them with all the, all the foods. If you like this tutorial, like and subscribe. Ask me for anything in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible. Okay, thank you.